All right, good morning. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And we want to welcome all of you that are joining us by audio or video. And uh, todos los que nos escuchen por audio y video, prepare a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. So you get ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. So we welcome all of you. Amen. A happy Sunday morning to you. Uh, welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. And we're excited. It's a church alive. It's worth the drive. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord has a good message for you. He always has a good message. You know, yes. I wanted to say this. <laughs> I think I touched a little bit on it last week, but don't be so critical with the message or to find a mistake and you're going to miss the message. Uh -huh. Amen. So I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'm just called and I'm going to deliver what God has given me to uh, to deliver, amen? amen. So don't be uh, looking for mistakes because you're going to miss the message. And what's, yes. uh, why even hear or why even be there to hear nothing if you're not going to do anything about it? Oh, so boy. don't be so critical and don't miss the message, amen? Your message is going to be let your enemies be scattered. Do you have enemies? <laughs> yes, we have enemies, amen? <laughs> He's called Satan. And you know what? He uses people distractions and all kinds of things that come against you amen so you have to be careful and we're going to be talking about let god arise and let your enemies be scattered yes. amen but yeah. we got to let him up you know there's so many distractions going on right now uh the hot thing coronavirus everybody's afraid and they're magnifying it more than they're magnifying god right. you know oh come on people are staying away you know even christians <laughs> remember christians we walk by faith and not by, not sight. by sight. So don't be afraid. Yeah. Amen. He's not giving yeah. us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So you know what? When you get the word in you, your faith is going to rise. And we'll step yeah. out in faith, yeah. not in fear. Amen. Exactly. Woo, hallelujah. That was good. That was from God. So yes. Amen, if you got anything to say about it, then you talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> don't talk to Brother Jose. <laughs> 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 So anyway, let's get started. Grab your Bibles, church. Yes. And uh, let's say it like we mean it. Amen? Amen. I don't know about you, but if you don't have one, get one. This is called the Bible. B-I-B-L-E. <laughs> the basic instructions before leaving earth. Get yes. you one that you can mark. One that you can highlight. One that yes. you can personalize. Amen? Oh, I've got one. And use it. Amen? Because the Bible says the truth is going to set you free. Yes. And we're going to be talking about all these mindsets and some of these traditions that we are so afraid of. Yes. Amen. It's always been done like this. You know, we don't want to change these things. Well, we don't even give place to God. Mm -hmm. We limit God. Amen. Yes. That's what religion is all about. But still, having one of these, this is yes. the word of God, the Bible. Amen. It says, Amen. this is, let's say it like you mean a church. Okay. Amen. Yes. So this is this my is Bible. Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Man, that's a good blessing right there. Amen. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. You know what? God promotes us. But we have to get in the word. And we have to be faithful. And we got to get the word in us. And we're going to grow and we're going to mature in the things of God. You know, if the enemy, enemy's been eating your lunch, <laughs> it's time. Or if he's had you on the run, it's time that you put him on the run. But get the word in you. You know what happens when you get the word in you? It's got to come out. You got to speak it out. And you got to use that authority God has given you. You know, you have authority over him. So why is he running you? Why is he driving you? Amen. It shouldn't be that way anymore. So praise God. Amen. So. Woo, let's, I'm excited. I don't know about you. I ain't preached myself happy already. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and your cares, your troubles, your problems be scattered. Or whatever the situation may be. Whatever is causing you to have a distraction. Whatever is causing you to have problems. You know, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Amen. Yes. That's what he's telling us. Amen. Woo. Praise God. Magnify God. And we've been saying this quite a bit. 
Magnifying God is not your problem. Magnify yes. God and not your coronavirus. Yeah. Yes. Amen. Magnify yes. God and not whatever problem is holding you yeah. back. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. There shouldn't be anything holding you back. Amen. You're a new yes. creature in Christ. You're a new person in Christ. You know. Yes. And as you get the word in you, you're going to step out in faith. Amen. Yeah. But don't let anything or anyone tell yeah. you uh, God's not doing that anymore. Yeah, that's a new thing. That's an old thing, you know, and, and God don't work that way anymore. If that's the case, you know, then uh, keep your Bible and tell your friend adios. <laughs> Amen. Because <laughs> you got to go with what the Word of God says, not what brother so-and-so said. Amen. And listen, <laughs> we preach the Word. If you hear something different, let me know. If I say something wrong, let me know. Amen. I stand to be corrected. Amen. Because we teach the word, and the word is the truth, and it's going to set you free. Amen. Anyway, speaking of the word, grab your Bibles, and we're going to go to Psalms, the book of Psalms. We have a lot of scripture, so get yourself ready. Amen. Amen. I say I hear that. We're going to read it in two different uh, translations here. But anyway, uh, Psalm 68, chapter 68, and verse one. Two and three. Amen. The King James goes like this. It says, Let God arise. Now he's telling us this. <laughs> that means you have control. You can keep him down, you can keep him out, but you can also let him rise up. Amen. It says, You let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate you, uh, hate hate him, flee before him. Now verse 2, as smoke is driven away, so drive them away as wax melted before the fire. So let the wicked perish at the presence of God. And verse 3, but let the righteous be glad and let them rejoice before God. Yea, let them uh, exceedingly rejoice. Amen. Yes. Mm -hmm. We also know, and we'll probably be reading it in a few minutes, but the joy of the Lord is your strength. Yes. Amen. 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 And, and, and uh, happiness is good medicine for us. <laughs> so we shouldn't be sad. We should be glad. Right. I've told you this so many times, but Christians, believers, should be the happiest people in the world. Uh, Amen. Amen. Why? Because we know the truth. Yeah. And we know the ending. <laughs> and if we're being obedient to, to, to what the Word of God says, <laughs> we win. And we gain heaven. Amen. That's so, good. praise God. Amen. 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 Remember that. Amen. I'm excited all about you. Praise the Lord. Okay, well, I don't know why I put it down, but uh, I said I was going to give you different translation. Anyway, I don't have the other ones right now. Well, yeah, I'm going to read it to you from this translation. Okay. Check out my Bible, honey. <laughs> <laughs> the NIV says this. Chapter 68, verses 1, 2, and 3. It says, May God arise, let his enemies be scattered. May his foes flee before him. Two, as smoke is blown away by the wind, may you blow them away. As wax melts before the fire, may the wicked perish before God. And verse 3 says, but let the righteous be glad yes. and rejoice before God. And uh, may they be happy and joyful. Amen. Amen. And one of our scriptures we're going to look at is Psalms 118.24. Everybody knows that one. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is the day the Lord has made. You know, every day when you wake up, thank Him and say, this is the day you have given me, Lord. I will rejoice and I will be glad in it. Yeah. Regardless of the weather outside, regardless of your circumstances. Uh -huh. You know, greater is He that's in you than He that is in the world. Amen. Let God arise and let His enemies be scattered. Guess yeah. what? <laughs> when David rose, <laughs> Goliath was history. Uh -huh. Amen. So whatever giants is coming against you, yeah. remember greater one is right. in you. Amen. And you're gonna let God rise up in you. Amen. Because He's with you. He said He never leaves you nor forsakes right. you. He's always with you. So yeah. don't ever say, "Well, I feel lonely." Mm -hmm. If you feel lonely, spend time with Him. Uh -huh. Amen. Spend time with Him. Say, "Lord, I need You now more than ever." Yes. <laughs> Amen. Jesus now more than ever. Woo, that's a beautiful song. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Psalms 91. Everybody knows Psalms 91. Amen. We're just going to read a couple of script, uh, verses from Psalms 91. But the whole Psalms 91 is awesome. Amen. Yes, it is. 
Amen. All of it. But verses 1, 2, and 3 says this. says, in an easy to read version, you can go to God most high to, God, to hide. You can go to God all powerful for protection. Mm -hmm. I say to the Lord, you are my place of safety, my yeah. fortress, my God, I trust in you. And yeah. verse 3 says, God will save you from hidden dangers and from deadly diseases. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think coronavirus is something new that's, <laughs> that snuck in and, and God never knew about it? <laughs> No, he put the, they put the stripes on yes. Jesus' back. They by Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. That's yes. what you need to be confessing. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Father. That by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Amen. Amen. Because Thank Jesus you, suffered for it. Amen. Amen. He went and they put those stripes on his back so that you don't have to. Whatever is ailing you, whatever is bothering you right now, whatever sickness is coming against yeah. you. Says, uh -uh, I'm not tolerating this no more. By Jesus' stripes, I'm healed. Yes. Cancer, you have a name. You're bound yes. to the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. And anything, whatever it is. Speak it out and just say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. And sickness can have rule over me. Okay? <laughs> you cannot come against or come in this body. This body belongs to Jesus. Amen. This body belongs to God. Amen. So praise God. Amen. You just got to speak it out. Numbers 10, 30, uh, 10, Numbers 10, verse 35 says this. New King James. Uh, excuse me, the King James. And this shall come to pass when the ark set forward. That Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered, and let them that hate thee flee before thee. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you rise up, you know, <laughs> enemies are going to scatter. Enemies are going to flee. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, Submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will stay. He will flee. No, he will flee. <laughs> he will right. flee. Flee is more than just walk away. That's right. <laughs> flee is like he's going to scatter, uh -huh. he's going to run. He's going to get, okay? That's I mean, <laughs> just like Speedy Gonzalez, amen? <laughs> I mean, he's going he's, he's gonna to run. He's going to uh -huh. run away from you. Yeah. But he's just not going to think about it. He's going to go. Why? Because that mighty person of God just rose up. Mm -hmm. And you're confessing, thank you, Jesus. I'm rising up. And all my enemies is going to scatter right yeah. now. Amen? Because they can't stay around. But you know, you got to take the authority. Yeah. And you got to stand your ground. You got to have roots. You got to have faith. And speak these things out, amen. Mm -hmm. Don't be talking about, you know, how <laughs> unimportant you are, or you're not good enough, or yeah. or whatever you believe in yourself, making yourself, pushing yourself down. You yeah. know, don't do those things. You know, God doesn't say those things about you. What does God say about you? Then speak those things. Mm -hmm. Last week we talked about speaking your say sos. What's the word of God saying? Then speak those say sos. The word of God says. And you're speaking for yourself. Yes. Amen. And your Bible says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. Lord, I'm here. Use me. <laughs> Amen. That's Amen. all you have to say. Lord, I'm here. I just want to be used of you. And guess what? He's going to use you. Yes, he will. Brother so-and-so, the world, they said, you know, you're no good. Huh. We can't use you. Huh. But God can. Yes, God can. put you here and God can use you. Amen. Amen. But you have to see yourself that yes. way. So church, we must let God arise. <sighs> Something we must do on a daily basis. Yes. <laughs> Surrender yourself to Him. Amen. Amen. Lord, here I am. Use me. Surrender yourself to Him. Give yourself to Him. And just say, here I am, Lord, use me. Amen. And whatever it is, big or small, just do it under Him. Amen. And when you do it under Him, you know, He's going to be blessed and you're going to be blessed. Yes. Amen. So how He's going to bless you, how He's going to reward you, how He's going to promote you, it's, it's up to Him. Yes. Amen. But receive that. Amen. Amen. So, surrender yourself to Him daily. Praise Him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One thing the enemy hates, you know? Yes. He don't like it when you go to That's praise right. Him. Amen. That's it. Here's another thing we just Lord. talked about with Psalms 118 24. Rejoice. Yes. Be glad. Be joyful. The joy is your strength. <laughs> He's not going to like that. But you know, you're going to build yourself up. You got to build yourself up before you hit the go out yes. the door That's it. <laughs> because if you ain't built up mm. you know we've said it so many times but part-time christian is no match to a full-time that's right that's right he's going to have you quick amen the world's going to have you quick mm -hmm. so build yourself up set your priorities right matthew 6 33 submit to oh, excuse me uh let's go there Where? seek you first matthew 
A lot of these scriptures we know, okay. and they're pretty basic, but guess what? Maturity, growth comes. Mm -hmm. I've studied scripture, I went over scripture so many times, and guess what? One day, yeah. all of a sudden I said, wow, I've never seen it like that before. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? That's maturity. Mm -hmm. That's spiritual growth. That's Amen. But Matthew 6, 33, don't you say, well, I know it already, so mm -hmm. it means a lot. Lord, yes, open the word to me. Uh, illuminate, you know? Yes. Ah, 633 says what? But, but it says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. Says you, right? You can scratch you in there and put your name. Yes. Put your name right there, right on your Bible. If you came right and get one, you can. So, you got to. Be given unto you. That's you. Okay? He's not talking about somebody else. Unless somebody else take it and you don't. And you got to leave yourself out. Don't leave yourself out. Include yourself. Amen? Amen. <clears throat> so set your priorities right. Seek him first. Yes. That's what the Bible says. Yes. Seek him first. You know, Seek well, but you don't understand. You know, I've got so many priorities. Well, you know what? Rearrange your priorities and put God first. Yes. Amen? Lord, I need to help with these priorities, but you're first. Amen? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lord, thank you, brother. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. And number three says, know that you can do all things through Him. All things. The, yes. the Word of God says it, so why why can't you say it? Yes. I can do all things through all Him. Things. And we start to seeing with our eyes, and we start competing and comparing, and saying, "Well, I'm not good enough." Mm -hmm. But He says you can do all things all through things. Christ, yes. who strengthens you. Lord, I need, right. I need, I need, I need you, Lord. I need your strength. To do what I have yeah, to do. Right. Amen. Show me. And he will. Come on now. Yes, he says, will. greater is he that's in you than he yes. that is in the world. Mm -hmm. The word of God says so. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'm believing at the end of this message, our, our hearts will be burning with the same <laughs> desire as the psalmist as he cried out, let God arise and his yes. enemies just be scattered. Yes. Amen. Yes. He wasn't just speaking it to you like I am. Mm -hmm. He was shouting it out. He said, yes. let God arise and his yes. enemies be scattered. Yeah. I'm rising up. And yes. enemies, you better yeah. bleed. You better go and scatter <laughs> because I'm rising up. But you know, not only rising up, the word of God is going to come out. Yes. I'm going to release the word of God. Yes. And the word of God goes and accomplishes what it goes out to do. Yes, it does. Amen. <clears throat> that God arise and your enemies, your troubles, or whatever is bothering you, has to flee. Has to scatter. Yes. The word of God says it. Yes. Amen. Quit listening to the world. Quit listening to whoever says what. Yeah. Listen to what the word of God says. Read what the word of God says. Yeah. And speak what the word of God says. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You gotta speak it out. Amen. James 4 7 says what? Submit yourself therefore to God. Yeah. Resist the devil Resist the and devil. he will flee from you. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, if you open the door, he'll come in. Mm -hmm. How did how did he know to come in? Yeah. The words you speak. The words yeah. are powerful. Words are powerful. There's life and death uh -huh. in the words you speak. So you got to be careful not to speak negative because you're opening the door and the enemy is going to come in. So submit yourself to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. How do you resist him? Well, you just don't say what your mind wants to say. Yeah. <laughs> but I had to say it. Well, you open the door. Amen. You have to be careful. Where was this at? Uh, James 4 7. James 4 okay. Submit yourself. Yeah. Therefore, to God, resist yeah. the devil, he will flee from you. If the yes. word of God says it, it, it is so. Yes. And another translation says this So give yourself to God, stand against the devil, and he will run away from you. Mm -hmm. Okay? He'll run away from you because I'm resisting him. How do I resist him? Speak the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. St stand the ground. Yes. Have roots. Know the word, release the word. Yes. And you're taking authority. Yes. I rebuke you, devil. Well, wait a minute. You know, I resist you, mm -hmm. and you must go. Yes. You have no say so. That's right. I'm telling you, you take That's authority. Right. Amen. You have authority over him. And I just have a few couple of uh, choice uh, definitions here for flee. It says <laughs> run away, escape, take off. He has to go. Yes. <laughs> he has to go. He can't stay around. Amen. So praise God. A few other uh, scripture that I want to share with you. 
but first it says we must stand our ground basically when you stand your ground you're using your authority yes god has given you authority That's good. he's called you he called you you have a calling he's equipped you amen and you are standing your ground yes amen when you stand your ground you take authority how do i take authority i'm going to speak the truth i'm going to yeah. speak the word and when i speak the word the enemy yeah. that means i'm rising up the yeah. enemy has to go he's That's got to right. scatter he's got to go That's it. Yeah. here's some great psalms that uh that you can write down mm -hmm. psalms 100 as a matter of fact let's go there they read it all the time you can read this all the time on a daily yes. basis <laughs> yeah. make this a daily thing I'm in the New Testament. Go back. Psalms <laughs> <laughs> 100. Psalms 100. Everybody knows it. Yes. Amen. Psalms 100 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Yes. Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, gladness. Okay. <laughs> Some of you have been doing the sadness part. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel don't don't no pity parties okay that's it <laughs> serve the lord with gladness come before his presence with singing. singing praise god it's okay so if you hear me singing don't say if you don't sing so good what god says <laughs> he loves my singing yeah. okay? <laughs> three he says know ye that the lord he is god it is he that has made us and not we ourselves we are his right. we are his people in the sheep of his pasture yes it says, enter his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Amen. For the Lord is bad. Good. Oh, good. the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Yes. Amen. So make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Amen. Amen. This, this, is, this is for us. Yes. As a matter of fact, at the top, mine says, a song of praise and joy. Mm. A song of praise and joy. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to start my day with the song of praise <laughs> and joy unto God. Amen. I'm going to, I'm going to be, I'm excited already. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Good. Here's another one. Just go all the way to back, back of uh, Psalms, the Psalms 150. Oh, boy. I mean, all these are good. Yes, they are. Uh -huh. Mine starts off, Psalms 150 starts off with this. It says, let every, let everything praise the Lord. Yeah. Let everything praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Every one of you. That includes you. Mm -hmm. Amen. So don't say, well, you know, hey, praise and worship is not my part of service because I can't sing. <laughs> well, don't exclude God. Include Him. Yes. And sing unto Him. And just make a joyful noise unto yes. the Lord. So don't exclude yourself. That's don't be it. so hard on yourself. That's praise right. ye the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise Him yes. in the firmament of His power yes praise him for his mighty act praise him according to his excellent greatness yes praise him with the sound of the trumpet praise him with the psaltery and the heart Amen. praise him with the tremble and dance who dance it's okay to dance before him <laughs> <laughs> praise him with string instruments and organs and uh five says praise him upon the loud cymbals praise him upon the high sounding cymbals yes. and six says let everything yes. that has That's breath it. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, hey, you woke up. The main thing is, Lord, I just want to sing unto you because you woke me up. You had a wake up call. Amen. You know, some a lot of people didn't have a wake up call. That's right. That's so right. I'm excited. Amen. Man. Thank you, Lord. And of course, Nehemiah 8 10 says what? The joy of the Lord is our strength. As believers, we should be the happiest. The most joyful people on earth. That's it. And you know what? Joyfulness, happiness is contagious. <laughs> and people see it and they want to know why. Yeah. You know? But you know, hey, I just give you what I got. And I've got some joy. I've got the joy. Remember, Granny? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. That's your spirit. Yes. Amen. When you got the joy in you, you got to let it out. Amen. <laughs> I don't care who's listening. God. You know, whoever's listening is going to be blessed. Yes. <laughs> and Peter 5 7 says, and this is the amplified. Was that first Peter? For, uh, no, excuse me. Yeah. Peter 5 7. First Peter is the first? Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Let's go here. Next Peter? 5 7. 
First Peter five seven is just before uh, Second Peter. <laughs> Verse six says this: says humble yourself therefore before God or uh, under the mighty hand of God that ye may be exalted in due time. Mm -hmm. Remember, promotion comes from God. Yes, it does. And He's going to exalt you. Yes. Amen. Lord, I'm doing this under you, Father. Yes. When you do it, you know He's going to reward you yes. and He's going to promote you. Yes. Amen. But it says, verse 7 says, Casting all cares upon Him, mm -hmm. for He cares for you. Mm -hmm. The Amplified says, Casting the whole. the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all on him. For he careth for you yes. affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Yes. Amen. So Amen. he cares about you. You, yes, no. when you bring all that stuff to him, you dump it there and you cast it on him. Uh -huh. Cast is not just leave it, you know, mm -hmm. leave it there. Cast means throw. Yes. You know, say, <laughs> get rid of it. That's it. Okay, we're on a daily mm -hmm. uh, run. Mm -hmm. We're on a daily race for God. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah. you can't have all this extra weight on you. That's it. And you know, let the past go. Let the extra stuff for today. Yes. Just cast it on Him, you know. Yeah. And don't yeah. worry about tomorrow because today right. has enough worries about itself. Yes. And you just give it to Him. Cast it on Him because yeah. why? Because He cares for you. He cares because for He you. wants you to go and fulfill what He's called you to do. Yes. Amen. And you will fulfill. Praise God. Amen. First Peter 5 7, New Living Translation says this. It says, Give all your worries, anxieties, cares, troubles, problems to Him because He cares for you. Yes. God cares for you. Yes, you know, yes. I'm, a lot of people, and I know exactly where, they, where their maturity level is at, you know, when they say, well, God put this on me to teach me something. Oh, no. No, no, no. He ain't got no bad stuff to That's give it. you. That's <laughs> it. He ain't got no bad stuff That's to right. give you. He didn't put That's no right. sickness on you to teach That's you it. something. He put it on Jesus. Yes. Why would we want to put it on you? That's right. That means Jesus, what Jesus did was not good enough. Mm. Amen. He put it on Jesus. And he can't give you anything bad That's because it. there's no bad things in heaven. So remember this. I mean, I hope you're catching on to this. You know? Yes. I hope yes. you're catching on to this. If you're just tuning in, <laughs> know this. And you know, maybe this is your time to say, uh -huh. Lord, I need you. Yes. Amen. You've tried everything else. You tried the world. You tried booze. You tried whatever. Mm. Drugs. And guess what? It didn't help you. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're still high. Mm -hmm. But you know, with God, you can get high. And on you're the most high. You know, on the most high. Get oh, high yes. on the most high. Thank Amen. You. Exactly. Amen. Get drunk with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> I'm drunk in the spirit. <laughs> Praise God. We can do that. So... You know, mm -hmm. all you have to do is surrender yourself to Him. Amen. Thank and you give Lord. your life to Him. Yes. He knows, He created you. He knows what's best for you. Yes, he And does. He's got a plan for you. Yes, He does. Amen. He's got a plan for you. And none of His plans include defeat. That's it. All That's His it. plans is win-win thing. Yes. But you have to work the plan. Yes, you Amen. Do. And you got to be there. And you have to be faithful. Yes. Learn the Word. Yeah. And speak the Word. Yes. And press on with yeah. Him. Amen. Amen. Come Lord. on now. Again, Second Timothy 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. So you know what? The spiritual battle is the mind. So you got to renew it with the word of God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feed your spirit, man. Mm -hmm. Feed your spirit. Yeah. We try being. We've said yes. this many times. We try being. We're, we have, we're spirit. We have a soul. Mm -hmm. And we live in this body, this yes. flesh. Amen. So, yes. feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. Mm -hmm. feed, renew your mind with the Word of God. Yes. And your flesh, crucify. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. your flesh just wants to be lazy. Yeah. <laughs> flesh wants to be lazy. And sometimes you got to crucify your flesh when you got to be the church. Uh -huh. and, 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 and you're staying home because you want to see the cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> so, don't do that. Because God knows already. <laughs> I want to see the cowboys too. Win or lose, I'm a fan, and I want to see them too. But I'm not going to stay home uh -uh. to watch the Cowboys. Uh -uh. They're not my God. <laughs> God is Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stepping on some toes. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hebrews 13.6 says, So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Mm. 
-hmm. You know, that's it. I could say God's on my side, mm -hmm. but then again, the right thing to say is mm -hmm. I'm on God's side. Yeah, I'm on the winning side. Yeah, you're Amen. on His side. <laughs> Regardless of what the Cowboys do, uh -huh. I'm on God's winning side. Yeah, I'm, on a, I'm on a win-win thing with God. Yes, Amen. Yes. So you do the same thing. Uh -huh. You know, enough disappointments with the Cowboys, you know. Ooh, praise God. <laughs> 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 so let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Yes, thank you, Lord. Let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Uh -huh. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. Let God, let God arise. Yes. And we must let him. Amen. Amen. There's too many uh, traditions. Mm. We haven't even got to it yet, but it's coming out now. <laughs> There's too many traditions. There's too many mindsets uh -huh. of how it's always been done. Yeah. And nobody's going to change it. Mm. Not even God. Oh my gosh. So God's got better ways, mm. but we have limitations. Yes. We're going to do it this way, mm -hmm. our way, mm -hmm. not God's way. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to stop that. That's why we, okay? in mess. we, in mess. <laughs> we need to stop this. Okay, it's God's way or no way. Mm. God's way or the highway. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So yes, let God arise. This song is seldom sang in, in, in churches anymore. Uh -huh. Guess what? You know the blood songs. This power in the blood of Jesus. You know, yes. it's hardly sung in churches anymore. Hey, it's a new thing, you know. We don't have to go there anymore. <laughs> it ain't no new thing, you know. It's just man thing, traditions now, you know. Mm. <laughs> so, this should be the church marching song. Oh, let God yes. arise. Let his yes. enemy be scattered. Amen. As we march on to take down what the enemy has yes. set up, you know. That's there's right. powers of darkness, but you know what? You know, match to those powers of darkness. If you're not in the word. That's right. That's Amen. Right. If you're not taking authority, mm -hmm. you know match to the yeah. enemy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So we want to storm the gates of hell. Amen. Yes. We want to uh, mm -hmm. let the devil's strongholds crumble down mm -hmm. or fall down. Let God's people win great spiritual battles. Amen. Yes. We're on a battle every every day. Amen. Yes. And we want to be victorious. Yes. yes Amen. Yes. Jesus taught us one thing. He taught us how to win. Mm -hmm. And if we follow his plan, we're going to win a win-win thing. Yeah. yeah. But we have to follow what he did. You know, yes. we just can't compromise That's and right. do our own thing. That's it. Say, well, we don't, we don't do that here. Mm. Well, guess what? I'm going to find another place. <laughs> <laughs> Psalm 100 says what? Psalms 104, we read it a few minutes ago. But Psalms 100 and verse 4 says... Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Enter his courts with prayers. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. You know, don't ever be ashamed to come to him. He already knows what you do. So don't be ashamed to come to him. Just say, if you have sin in your life, all you have to do is say, Lord, whatever. I've sinned against you. I repent. You know, and he'll take it away. You know what he does that we don't do? He'll forgive you. And he'll forget it. Uh -huh. We hold it against oh you. Oh my gosh. People hold it things against you. Mm -hmm. And you hold it against yourself. Because uh -huh. I don't feel clean. Mm -hmm. Or I don't feel like he forgave me. Yes he uh -huh. did. He says he does. Uh -huh. So quit holding it against yourself. Yes, and yes. don't let people hold it against you. You know uh, in, in Corinthians. It says that you're a new creature in Christ. The old is past. It's all gone. And the new is here. Yes. So people try to use the old against you, your no. past against you. Say, no, that's gone. Mm -hmm. You're talking a new person. Yes. That person is gone. That yes. person is no longer exists. Yes. Amen. Yes. I'm a new creature in Christ. New creature. <laughs> you didn't know I was a creature. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a new creature. I'm a little creature for God. No. <laughs> Church, we must get ourselves out of the way and start letting things God's way. Yes. Let things go God's way. Yes. We get need to get out of the way. Let God, God arise and have His way. Amen. 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 Let God arise. God. When we do, things will come alive, yes. and the world will begin. The church, excuse me, the church will begin to uh, press on. Yeah. And move forward. You know, 
But God didn't give us a, a reverse. That's right. And when he gave us armor, he didn't put nothing in our backside there. <laughs> All the weapons are up front. Yes. Up and we're front. pressing on. We're going forward, not backwards. Yeah, okay? Yeah. So <laughs> there's no reverse, Christian. <laughs> so don't quit. Don't yeah. stop. It's time to press on. Yes, you is. know, if you said something, did something, sin, just confess it. Yes. Okay? Admit it, quit it, and don't do it again. It. <laughs> and press on. Get up, yeah. dust yourself, and press yeah. on with God. Yeah. It's not hard. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So thinking, we have to do the same thing. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we must uh, break out of our religious ruts. Oh, yeah. Thinking that we have to do the same thing the same way all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, way with uh, powerless traditions. No, this is... <laughs> The way it's always been done. Oh, Jesus. And we're not going to change. Mm. Well, that means I need to go somewhere else. Mm. Don't be left behind. <laughs> and we don't use Bibles here. I said, well, <laughs> I know I'm leaving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the way it's always been done. Always with mindsets. It's a, a fixed attitude, disposition, a mood. We don't accept new stuff. You know, hey, you got to be this way. You got to dress this way. You got to speak this way. You got to look this way. And we don't allow all that other stuff, you know, that godly stuff, you know. We just do it our way. I say, well, <laughs> I'm going somewhere else. <laughs> he isn't controlled by habits or the same ways. He doesn't always manifest himself or his power the same way That's every right. time. That's it. Amen. Amen. He he's, he's does things different. Yes. So it's just not all uh, same all the time. Yes, you know, yes. <laughs> the lady with the issue of blood touches mm -hmm. him of his garment. She was healed. Mm -hmm. The disciples brought uh, somebody where Jesus was preaching, <laughs> and they tore the roof, mm -hmm. and they laid brought him down. Can't you know just lower him down. Mm -hmm. Jesus saw him. He didn't have an attitude and say, hey, you know, hey, you interrupted my sermon. <laughs> <laughs> what about the owner of the house? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't read anything about him saying, you know, hey, you guys open your roof. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus laid hands on him. You know, he spoke to him and said, mm -hmm. he got up. Yeah. When he got up and he started walking and leaping and praising God. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. this is what we need to do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. You know, after we spend time with Him, is just walk away, you know, leaping and praising God, yes. being happy, being joyful. Amen. Happiest Amen. people on earth, yeah. believers, us. Amen. <laughs> he spoke to some, He spoke, others He touched, some He rubbed, spit, and mixed <laughs> with clay, others He just spit at. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whatever. But it worked. Yes, well, the Bible says for us to lay hands on the sick. Amen. And they yeah. shall recover. recover. Yeah. Amen. But guess what? He's talking about believers. He's not yes. just talking to pastors. <laughs> He's not just talking to five-fold right. ministry. Yeah. You know, apostles, uh, uh, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Mm -hmm. He's talking to believers. believers. We are ministers of reconciliation. Yes. Amen. Believers going out to reconcile people to God. Yes. Amen. 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 Come on now. <laughs> so don't Lord. let traditions or people put limitations right. on you on what, right. what the Word of God says. Amen. Different methods, same results. Yes, yes. They were all healed. We build spiritual rust mm -hmm. in our Christian walk. When we put limitations on God, mm -hmm. that will require Him to operate in boundaries uh -huh. of how we think things should be done yeah. in the church. Oh, <laughs> okay, Lord. Lord. You're welcome if you do it our way. <laughs> he said he refuses to operate that way. That's and right. we find ourselves going around in circles. Uh, you know, God hadn't moved in his church in a long time. <laughs> well, I wonder why. You better examine yourselves. <laughs> you, you don't invite him. You know, people turn away at the door. And... Uh, Anyway, come on. God is good. God is good. A few more scriptures and we're done. Yeah. First Samuel thirteen fourteen says, 
But now your kingdom, but now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord shall uh, has sought for himself a man after his heart, own heart. Uh -huh. And the Lord has commanded him to be commander over his people. Mm. Because you have not kept what God, what the Lord commanded you. Mm -hmm. So the Lord was describing David as a man after his own heart. Yeah. You could be that person. Yeah. Be a person after God's heart. Mm. Amen. Praise God. Great, uh, David, greatest secrets. No enemies ever succeeded over him. Yeah. He rose from nothing, a shepherd boy, to become the greatest king of Israel. Yeah, that's right. You know, some of you <laughs> that are listening, some of you that are watching, God has called you to do something, and you've seen yourself a failure, mm -hmm. and you let the world call you a failure and qualify you to be a failure. Mm -hmm. But it's time that you learn yes. that God has called you to be a winner. Yes, yes. You Amen. know, when a prophet, when a, when a man of God came to Jesse, said, go to Jesse's house, mm -hmm. the next king of, the king of Israel is going to come from Jesse's house. Mm -hmm. That's Jose's uh, interpretation. <laughs> and Jesse has eight boys. Man, he's got eight sons. And seven of them walk in front of uh, the man of God. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and God says, no. The man of God no, says, no, no. Wait, which one, which one, which one? No, 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 no. So finally he says to Jesse, do you have another one? Hmm. <laughs> this is where we come in. Jesse says, yeah, but he's only a little shepherd boy. I've got taking care of the sheep. Mm -hmm. Well, what were you? Before people tell you that you was no good. Before you disqualified yourself from being what God called you to be. He says, I'm only, he's only a, sh a shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. He's only a shepherd. Nothing. He's a nobody. And that's what people have talk, called you mm -hmm. and told you. You're a nobody. Mm -hmm. That's not what God put you here to do. Mm -hmm. God put you here to be a winner. Yes. So you got to put that behind yes. you. Dust yourself off. Mm -hmm. Lord... I want to complete what you have called me to do. Mm -hmm. I want to complete the mission you sent me to do. Yes, I don't yes. want to be a failure. I don't want to be a loser. But I want to be a champion. Mm -hmm. So you might be that little shepherd boy God mm -hmm. called. But still, he says, David became the greatest king Israel yes. ever had. That's it. Amen. And he used to be a little shepherd boy. Mm -hmm. What you used to do, mm. it's okay. It's in the past. Yes. Now, you be a king. You be a, a leader for God. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Yeah. I can't say it no better than that. So it's time for yeah. you to get up, dust yourself off. Yeah. And Lord, I want to press on with you. Yes. And I want to complete all you've called me to do. That's it. Amen. Amen. Like David, you can do the same. Overcome your enemies. Mm -hmm. Know who you are, whose you are, and who you are in yes. Him. Yeah. Know that you can do all things through Christ, things. big or small, do it unto Him. Colossians 3 20, 23 and 20, 24 says, And whatever you do, do it, yes. do it as unto Him yes. and not man. That's it. So, you know, if you're going to do something, don't do it just to shine. Don't do it just to get a pat on the back. Don't do it just for yourself. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I came in here yesterday <laughs> and, uh, Took me a while to clean up and take care of this yard by myself. But I say, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Be quiet because your people come and your people see. Amen. And uh, I want them to see you and not just see a mess. Amen. So whatever you do, do it is under him. And I'm going to do it and I'm going to prepare myself and I want to prepare my area of work. I'm going to do my best for my employer. I'm going to do the best. Because I want to be God's Amen. best representative. Amen. When they see me, they see Christ. Amen. Amen. And I'm not doing it for me. I'm doing it for Him. Because Amen. when I, when they see me, I want them to see Christ. Amen. Amen. Wherever you serve, wherever church you're at, just let your pastors know. Pastor, I'm here to be a blessing to you. Where do you need help? I don't just come to promote myself. Mm -hmm. And 
tell you where I can excel. I just want to <laughs> say, where do you need help uh -huh. that nobody wants? Nobody yeah. wants to do. Yeah. You can count on me from now on. You don't have to worry about that area. I'm going to take care of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not bragging on myself. I'm bragging on my God. Mm -hmm. Because when I go greet somebody, when I go and clean something, I'm doing it because Jesus is going to be there. Mm -hmm. Jesus is going to visit, mm -hmm. you know, and Lord, I'm doing this for you. Yes, I'm not doing it for myself. I'm doing it for him. Yeah. But you can do the same thing, yeah. big or small. Yeah. And you know what? A lot of times <laughs> you do a job when nobody's watching. Yeah. Except you. Yeah. Amen. That's it. Amen. Amen. And you got to be careful because people come around and they see you doing and say, why are you doing this? Nobody's paying you. Nobody's uh, <laughs> giving you anything and they say some negative things mm -hmm. but you got to be strong enough to say well you know thank you anyway but yes. I, i'm doing this under god amen. Amen. amen and you're not going to distract me and stop me from what i'm doing that's right because my king my, my god is coming and my god is going to be here yes. amen. amen and we do this on a daily basis when we meet with him yes. amen Huh. God. So God is pleased and he rewards and promotes you. So let's go to Hebrews in closing. Amen. Yeah, that's the best thing, man. Huh? Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hebrews. Thank you, Lord. Say, well, you know, I do a lot of things, but you know, God uh, never sees or God never uh, never knows. Well, let's go find out. Okay, Hebrews what? Hebrews chapter 10. Oh, okay. uh, no. It's, I got my scriptures there. Let me see. 610? I think it's 610. Yeah. It's Hebrews, it's Hebrews 610, chapter 6, verse 10. Okay. And you highlight it. Yes. Underline it. Uh -huh. So Hebrews 610 says what? For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Okay? So know that. He knows everything. And he knows what you do. And says, which ye have shown towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So he, he, don't, he, don't, he don't forget. Okay? And... Uh, um, you know, while we're there, look just back a little ways and uh, look at Colossians. One of my favorite scriptures, Colossians <clears throat> 23, 24. Colossians chapter 3, verse 23, 24. It says, and whatever you do, mm -hmm. do it heartily as, un as to the Lord and yes. not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive a reward of the inheritance. For ye yes. serve the Lord Christ. Amen. That's who you serve. So a child of God, you know, <laughs> I'm not doing it for pay. I'm not doing it for anything else except, Lord, I'm doing this under you. Amen. It don't have to be in this church building. It could be where I'm, wherever I'm at. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's your job, you know. Praise mm -hmm. God. You'll be a, a great a witness for, for Jesus just where you're at. Just by the way you conduct yourself, by the way your words, your actions, you know, and what you do to, in preparation to, to to promote your employer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Your, your, your co-workers. Um, and uh, let's go to Psalm 75. I'm back to Psalms, and we're close with this. Yeah. Amen. I'm blessed. My, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I don't know about you. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. I preach myself happy. <laughs> Amen. Um, okay, verse 6. Okay, verse 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. Psalm 75, verse 6 and 7. For promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. Right. But God is the judge. Amen. And he put it down one and he set it up another. Uh -huh. Thank you, Father. He's watching. Yes. <laughs> and he's going to promote you. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, keep these. And, uh, yeah. and uh, know what the word of God says. Amen. Don't just, uh, you know, from now on, wherever you, whenever you're, you're in a meeting, Focus on the message and not 
on mistakes. Amen. Yeah. When you do that, you're going to be blessed. Ooh. In closing, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Lord. Since the individual or the church body wants to experience a, a fresh move of God, has got to be willing to say, let God arise. Mm -hmm. But you got to let him arise. Amen. Let go yeah. and let God, church. Amen. Quit trying to hold him down. Mm -hmm. Start putting limitations on his arising. Amen. God's nature is to rise up. Yes, it is. Amen. For God rose and his enemies were scattered. Amen. About the words, the, the song says, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Mm -hmm. The second verse says, for God arose and his enemies were right scattered. Mm -hmm. Amen. So his nature is, is to, to rise up. What did Amen. Jesus do? Mm -hmm. They put him down. He was crucified mm -hmm. and he was buried, but he did what? He rose. He rose. <laughs> we serve a risen Savior. Yes, we do. Amen. We serve a risen Savior and he's coming back. Yes. He's going to come back because his word says so and we believe what his word says. Amen. So God's nature is to rise up. Let God arise in your life mm -hmm. and in your circumstances. Yes. Whatever is happening in life, mm -hmm. whatever circumstances you're going through, mm -hmm. thank God arise. Amen. Put your priorities, put him above all these yes. things. And guess what? All these things are going to scatter. Yes. Because the word of God says so. Amen. They're going to scatter. Amen. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Lord. To those to that do, uh, excuse me, those that do will always walk in and enjoy. If you do this, you're going to walk in and enjoy God's presence, mm -hmm. God's power, mm -hmm. God's provision, God's protection, mm -hmm. and God's purpose. Amen. Amen. If you, if you didn't write that, you better write it down. It says, mm -hmm. as you walk in, you're going to enjoy God's presence, His power, His provision, His protection, and His Purpose. Amen. Did you get on that? No. Presence. Power. Power. Provision. Protection. And purpose. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hey, now I want it all. I want yes. all that God has for me. <laughs> Amen. Father, we thank you for your precious word. We just take it, Father, and apply it to our lives. Help us, Lord, to take your word, Father God, and just grow. And go for you, Father God, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Those you, of you who are watching, those of you who are listening. Amen. If you never accepted Christ, now's the time. You know, this is your opportunity. Amen. And all you have to do is say, Father, I sin against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. If you said that, we believe that you're born again. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you got to get yourself hooked up. Go to a Bible teaching church. Uh, get, get you a Bible. Start Amen. studying the Word for yourself. Amen. Amen. And let the truth come in and set you free. Yes. Amen. Amen. And start walking in faith. Because faith is going to drive all that fear out of you. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. If you have uh, hurt in your body, if you're sick, the Bible says lay hands on the sick and he shall recover. Father, I just thank you. Yes. Thank you all those within the sound of my voice, Father God, that are watching, those of you that are listening, in Jesus' name, I speak healing over your body. Yes. Body, receive your healing now. In Jesus' name. Sickness, you have no right in this body. That's we right. command you to leave now. Take yes. authority over you and command you to leave. In Jesus' name. And we thank you, Father, that by Jesus Christ, they are healed totally. Yes. From the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. Amen. Praise yes. God. I receive mine. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And in closing, I just want to give you a... a uh, uh, an opportunity to give. The Bible says, Give and it shall be given unto you. Yeah. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running on. Shall men give unto your bosom. So, those of you that are uh, watching, listening, or watching, say, uh, you can go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and find a donate button and press that. Amen. Those of you uh, listening, just go to NBC PO Box. Uh, 252 Marfa, Texas 79843 if you're going to mail so praise God I enjoyed amen I hope you did too amen let the word of God go in you and set you free amen praise God God bless you love you